Hi, I'm Aaron Campbell, a senior producer for The Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, and today we're going to talk about Isengard. Uh, Isengard, the ring, the veil, uh, the valley, and ultimately the Tower of Orthanc. This is really the essence of our story. Uh, and there are many stories of Isengard to share. There is uh, Isengard today on the verge of war, Isengard at the peak of its power, really as a place where Saruman is developing this intense breeding program deep underground, creating new varieties of orcs and rooks. The development of the tower was something that we spent a lot of time on. It was something we wanted to get uh, just right. Uh, and we know a lot about Orthanc from how Tolkien describes it in the books. A lot of uh, metric information, it's 500 feet tall and the, the Isengard ring is a mile across. We worked closely with concept artists, to uh, arrive at the right approach we wanted to take with it. It is something that dates back to early Gondorian times, so the architecture is something we wanted to reflect uh, what we've got in the game for Gondorian architecture. The space around the tower, inside the Ring of Isengard, was something that we had uh, a lot of fun with. It's just chaos in there with all kinds of elements. Tolkien alludes to a number of different things specifically, which we, we brought in and really tried to bring to life with a lot of effects and lighting. There's also another story we can tell. The story of Isengard in the past, the story of Isengard the Pristine, uh, with Saruman the White. Uh, and this is a place of real uh, beauty. Uh, it's an open veil of lush meadows and grand trees, uh, one of the sacred places of Middle-earth, one of the spaces that people would go to for refuge. Uh, you're going to get to go there as Grima Wormtongue, uh, play through that experience, uh, interact with Saruman as he makes his transition from Saruman the White to Saruman the, the Many Color, uh, and takes his first steps on that path of evil. Uh, you'll also be there with Gandalf, uh, and you'll get to walk through the space, uh, see the Palantir, uh, and ultimately be part of Saruman's fall. Now there's one more story we haven't touched on here, which is Isengard of the future. Isengard fallen, broken and flooded. Uh, and that's definitely something that we're all looking forward to as well. Uh, you can expect to see that in the months and years to come. So thank you for joining us today in our discussion of Isengard. Uh, we're so glad to be able to share this story with you and we look forward to bringing you into it with the Rise of Isengard expansion launching on September 27th.